Jeff from New Jersey had a problem. He got our splash guard and for some reason he wasn't able to peel the adhesive cover off. So anyhow he ruined the first one. He had to take the second one and he ended up installing it on this end which meant it was inside out. And when he told me about the problem it was really disappointing. So obviously Jeff hadn't seen the video I had done for Christine who lives in Denver who had this problem six months ago. She picked at the edge. You actually have to poke the pen right into the paper on the back and then pull it up and that's the best way to get it started. You just poke right in through the paper and right into the foam adhesive and then just peel it up and it'll come off no problem. But at any rate, for Jeff, I decided to make a new shower splash guard. I call it the water stop. It doesn't go up the wall 19 inches the way the original one does, but what it allows him to do is make some mistake putting the first one on. He can just take the other one and put it on in the same place because they're sort of ambidextrous. As long as you put the wall portion on the inside, like this, it'll be fine. But if you wanted to put it on the other end of the tub, the same thing applies. The wall portion would then come over and go on the inside like that and it'll still look just like it's supposed to. I painted a couple of these, so I'm going to put one of these on so you can actually see the color. I just got a little straight pen is all I've got. It's going to go this way. The wall side goes on the inside, so all I'm going to do is bend that over and hold it like that. Now I need the bottom of the adhesive to come off. There we are. That's off. So all I'm going to do is hold that in position like that, pull that to the end like that, and press it right down onto that grout, right into the corner. And then from there, I'm going to just lay this down and press it to the top of the tub. And there we are. I can peel the rest of this off and bring it up the wall. And there you have it. Now I'd already cleaned this off with alcohol and naphtha, so it was perfectly clean, They're the same here, and that's all you need. And if you ever have to get this off, the only way you can get it off once it's cured is to cut it and peel it off. You're going to leave lots of that white tape gum on there. Take some um, mineral spirits. Here they call it Varsol, but it's mineral spirits, and they usually use this to clean paintbrushes. And just paint it right onto that adhesive, what's left of it and then you can just scrape it off with a popsicle stick or something like that. So there, these are nine inches by nine inches, these shower splash guards. And that's how they work and that's how easy it is to install them. So for the guys that hate reading instructions and don't want to watch the videos, maybe this will be enough. Thanks for watching. Talk to you soon.